here we are at Mirror Lake. Mirror Lake is just east of Salt Lake. We've driven about an hour and 40 minutes from home to get out to this location and it is just beautiful. What we're hoping to accomplish tonight um, is get some reflections of the water. As you can see, the water is quite pretty choppy, even though there's almost no wind that we can feel. It's very subtle, maybe five miles an hour, but it's still enough to push the water around and get some chop. So um, we found a little inlet that has less movement in the water. We're hoping will be a little bit more silky, glassy look to it so we can get a good reflection of the Milky Way. This is definitely a first for me. Um, I, me we tried We tried getting some Milky Way shots in some water in a little pond but it just didn't work out very well. So we're here doing it for reals. And uh, then we ran into some luck, so. Yeah, when we were here at our car, just unpacked everything and was about to go, a car pulls up and says, hey guys, what you doing tonight? Well, we're gonna capture some Milky Way shots tonight, get some astrophotography on. And he goes, that's awesome, me too. And it was a guy with his friend. And I introduced myself and he goes, I'm Royce Bear. Like, you're kidding, you're Royce Bear. I bought your book last night. Royce Bear has a book, an ebook called Nightscape. Awesome book. You're going to learn how to use your camera in many different ways, it all focused on astrophotography. I can't recommend it more. It's a really good buy. Find the link in the description because his book is great. And honestly, just in the few seconds that we've talked to Royce, he's guided us to a nice spot, a place that he's going to help us go tonight and record. We feel very fortunate to have run into him. As Brendan keeps saying, it's serendipitous. Yeah, because I am I am the ultimate deal getter. I love <laughs> a good deal. And so having someone who normally charges, he said about $130 a head for a two hour um, time with him to shoot some night skies. This is pretty awesome that we can hang out with him tonight for free. So ultimate best deal in my book, um, hanging out with the pro and just Hanging out like we're old buds. This is pretty sweet. So I'm yeah. excited. So glad our wives let us take off and do this. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight before work, but it's very worth it. <laughs> <laughs> What's nice about the moon is it's kind of setting kind of slowly at an angle so it's riding right along that ridge of that hill there which is really cool so instead of going behind it it's riding that line that's cool we're packing our gear up they can join Royce Bear right now so here we go All right, guys, uh, we're here in the car. It's about one o'clock in the morning, and uh, we just got finished up with, with half of our photo shoot, I guess. We went to one spot in Mirror Lake that was uh, Royce's, one of Royce's favorite spots, and so we all went up there, Royce and Joe and Aaron and I, and we got some really cool shots. The, the Milky Way was rising just over uh, that part of the lake, and we have some really fun things to show you. I was taking about one, two, three, eighteen, thirty different pictures so that I had a panorama to stitch together. So I'm excited about seeing how this panorama works out. It's a lot of work, probably 10, 15 minutes of moving around. So my Milky Way was moving on me. The exact angle might be a little bit different in the below shot than the above, but you know, I don't think anyone noticed it. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah. I didn't expect so much was when you have a shot of the Milky Way and it's sky from the top to bottom is all bright, tons of stars. The reflection still is only capturing really the brightest of yes, those stars. I noticed that too. And yeah. so even when I brought up my ISO and brought up my exposure to be longer, I still had stars that never showed. Not really. Well, and it makes me wonder in post if we bring the shadows out, how much of that will come out. Mm, that would yeah. be interesting to try out in post and see how that looks. One of the things that Royce had mentioned that is a nice tip is like take an extra long exposure 
for the bottom half. So if you're getting reflection, you know, leave your camera in the same spot, take the normal exposure, then do a twice or a three or four times longer exposure and really get that bright spot coming from the bottom half where the where the where it's reflecting and then you can really compose those two together and do a cool layering and if you don't have an intervalometer remote handheld you know remote um magic lantern as oh, well yeah, i was course. using on mine mm -hmm. so yeah. excited about the composition seeing how it turns out all right i'm gonna try over here brendan I'm going to try and get more rock, less tree, and water. So I'm going to set myself up. What we have out here that you can't see is a straight Milky Way, vertical in the sky. A pond here, a section of Mirror Lake that is a lot calmer. The reflection in the water is going to be awesome. And then we have the tall, big, baldy mountain with trees in front of it. So I was afraid that if I... I was afraid that if I went over here too much with the trees blocking the shape of the mountain then I would lose that cool part of the composition. So I'm going to come over here to the left, have the water, the reflection of the Milky Way, get the light painting going on in the surrounding area, but then Milky Way will be up far more separated from the mountain than I wanted, but at least I get it and not just the trees. Okay. I don't know how much well how well you can see this area, but I've got this small flat spot that I'm able to enjoy before the water starts. So we'll see how this turns out. now four in the morning yeah. we are cold and tired i am ready for a warm awesome breakfast somewhere do not bring your gloves with your car and then forget to transfer it to the car that you're bringing with you or just leave them at home altogether <sighs> when they're there that's... we both forgot our jackets that's the windbreaker part we both forgot our gloves not a bad night to have that happen it no, it's about horrible. 40, 45 ish. It's a pretty chilly, but you know, hands in the pockets saves you. Um, the adrenaline of the fun, though, was just overwhelming. Yeah. I, I didn't care how cold I was because the shots were so good. No, we're the, and we're wading in like two inches of water, <laughs> sloshing around in this little swamp area. Your feet aren't and, bad. Uh, no, not too bad. There, I can definitely see them where it's you know on my toes and stuff. But um, so yeah, cold feet, cold hands. You know, but it's okay. So it's worth it. It was to be so out worth here. it. Uh, I'm going to work here in three hours and I'm not going to have any sleep, but I don't care because we got some really awesome shots. I love the ver the vertical Milky Way, the perfectly straight line Milky Way shot reflecting in the water. Those, really, so. not, not yet. I don't think we've ever been out long enough for that. And so this is a huge change to our Milky Way portfolio and it's just really cool looking. And I set up um, a 90 second or 90 shot time lapse. Uh, using magic lantern so that was pretty cool um so it's not gonna be very long sorry which can make it longer but we just it was we had the time to wrap it up so yeah absolutely but as always guys thank you for watching if you like this video please hit subscribe and come back and watch some more we'll keep putting them out there every week thanks a lot see you guys